Hi, I'm Dr. Mangla. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF and KC Raju Multi Speciality Hospital. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist, and infertility specialist by profession. Do blood thinners have side effects? Yes, they do. So, like all drugs, even blood thinners have a few side effects. However, these side effects are usually due to prolonged use or use without proper monitoring. So what are these side effects? So these side effects are usually due to bleeding at various sites. So they may be bleeding from the gums, bleeding from the teeth or even bleeding in the stools or vomitus or even bleeding during passing urine. Sometimes very rarely there may be bleed at the placental site and may cause an abortion. However, this is very rare. Apart from this, some of the not so common side effects include osteoporosis or increased bone loss or also hair loss and in some cases there may be birth defects especially with warfarin but this again is with warfarin which can tend to cross the placental barrier. So drugs like heparin or low molecular weight heparin which are injectables do not cross the blood placental barrier and thereby their side effects are almost negligible on the fetus. Apart from this you may have some local reactions, some local allergic reactions or even skin necrosis or skin discoloration. So it is very important that these side effects are made as minimal as possible. So this can be done by using the following measures. One, we use a PT prothrombin time or APTT. These are certain blood tests which can be used to monitor the blood coagulation during pregnancy and thereby we can prevent the bleeding complications. Apart from that, it is also necessary that the doctor chooses the right blood thinner for the right patient and it's also important that the patient is aware of the side effects and report immediately. At the most, we may have to stop the blood thinner and start an antidote.